Welcome to today's installment of A-Liner Repair and Makeover. Uh, this is Nikki and uh, this is my weekend update. So the biggest, one of the biggest problems I've had is that I needed to replace the floor. Once I started digging into things, I noticed that there was a lot of water damage. It was very brittle. I was able to punch a hole through it with no problem whatsoever and then pick away at it just with my bare hands and it came up so easily like paper and it was just crumbling so I knew I had to replace the floor. So I managed to get a third of the floor out. So I'm doing this in sections of a third at, the t at a time and what I started to discover was that as I pulled the floor out the walls started to kind of compress against the frame. So I was worried about the three quarter inch clearance I was gonna need for the new plywood and figured out a way to solve that. And basically what I did was I used a crowbar and a uh, properly piece size of wood that was gonna help me maintain the clearance, especially when I go to put the floor in. And I'm just gonna keep it there and I'm using the frame as kind of support and a pressure point until I do get the, uh, the plywood floor in but it helps me to maintain that clearance that I'm gonna need between the walls and the trailer. And what I did over here was the door was the biggest area that it was compressing, um, but also the far side. And what I did was, you can see here, I was able to use a crowbar and lift the frame up just enough to get those pieces of wood in there to help maintain the clearance on this side also. So we're, I, I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out, but uh, these pieces of wood are helping me maintain that clearance. Um, getting the pieces in, that's gonna be a different story, uh, but I'm sure it's all gonna work out. And as you can see here, the frame used to be white. This is the new area that I've uh, chipped away at. And since I'm here, what I've done is sanded away the rust and then treated it with some uh, rust uh, repair stuff, some rust-oleum rust repair stuff. Uh, since I'm here, might as well do it right. And also under here, you can see I had to chip away with it, basically with a chisel. Uh, the floor was very brittle, so it wasn't that hard to get out, but I'm gonna definitely uh, clean it up back here because there was some serious water damage not sure where that was coming from, if they managed to caulk up all the water leaks, but uh, that's going to be one of the items when the weather gets a little bit better and I can pull it out and test it in the rain. So instead of pulling the cabinet out, I just lifted it up. So basically I kind of cribbed it. Um, yeah, I know what cribbing is. And instead of pulling the whole cabinet out, the reason I decided to crib it is because the heater and the propane lines and the electrical, I, I would have had to have pulled and unhooked all of that stuff. And I just felt like cribbing it might have been the better choice. Um, we'll have to see how all that works out because I was gonna have to remove all of that. Yes, those water lines are nasty. So I'm gonna replace those too. Um, that should be pretty easy. So yes, uh, I cribbed the cabinet instead of pulling the whole damn thing out, which is probably what I should have done but I'm trying to uh, move this along as fast as I can. And you can see here I have all my tools just laid out. Looks like a messy workshop, but it's coming along and uh, I'll let you know how the floor install goes.